Hi, I will solve problem 5.36 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery based on a factorial experiment to improve the silver production process in which we have two response variables namely powder density and surface area. We have three different factors namely reaction time, ammonium percent and stirring rate. Each of these three factors has two levels and the design has been replicated twice. The data has been shown there. In this experiment, the first three columns are showing the parameters or factors and the last two columns are for the response variable or quality characteristics. Actually, I will put this data in the mini tab. Then I will do the factorial analysis using the ANOVA regression analysis. By the end, we create main effect and interaction effect plots. To create a factorial design, go to STAT, then go to DOE, Factorial, Create Factorial Design. We have two, le two levels of each factor. So select this first option. Number of factor are three. Des click on Design. I have a full factorial design which have eight runs. And then I have two replicates as shown in the question statement. Select two click OK, then go to factors. Here, write the names of the factors. So the fact, click on factors. The first factor name is ammonium, A double M O N I U M. The second factor name is stir rate. The third factor name is temperature, T E M P. And now we have to enter the levels. The level for the ammonium is 2 and 30, stir rate 100 and 150, for the temperature 8 and 40. Let's enter them right here, 2 and then press tab, 30, 100, tab 150, then click on this cell and enter 8 and 40. So we have entered the data for the levels, click OK, then go to the options, please uncheck this randomized run, click OK. In the result, we have nothing to do, just click OK and then OK. A design will be created. Now using this tab, click on this so we have only data view now we have two response variables namely density and surface area we have to write their names so density then surface area after that we have to enter the data for each of them so how we will enter the data so for the setting to 108 we have the density 14.68 so we are allowed to 108 so it is 14.68 now for the second one to 108 this is the second replication so we have one replication comprised of eight treatments so you can see the nine treatment is again to 108 it's the it's going to be repeat so the value is 15.18 right here 15.18 now for the third value 15.12 so you can see it 15.12 is associated with 30 108 so 30 108 this is equal to 15.12 likewise our fourth observation 17.48 with 30 108 obviously it will be at the treatment number 10 you can see 30 108 enter the value there that is equal to 17.48 so in this way we have to enter the whole data to save the video time i have put the data if you have any confusion you can contact me via email or on my whatsapp on comments once you have done the data entry for the analysis go to stat then doe then factorial analyze factorial design select the response variable i select the density then go to result Please select this option of expanded tables. By default, the option selected is simple table. Click OK. Then go to the graph and select this one four in one because these are the assumption. You must have to satisfy these assumption before going towards further analysis. Click OK. Click on this one output only tab. So view only the result. First of all, go towards the tables. So you can see the data is found to be somehow uh, normally distributed because we haven't a large amount of data so we can't get the values at each and every setting 
further there is no uh, specific pattern is found the variability is somehow you can see a constant and the data is normal so roughly you can say not ideally roughly the assumptions are satisfied now we go towards the result first of all please follow the analysis of variance this result will show you that which of the factor or interactions are found to be significant so first of all ammonium stearate and temperature these are your main effects so go towards their p values the p values are shown here so ammonium p value 0.09 found to be insignificant stir rate less than 0.05 significant temperature is also significant these for for the main effects now for the two two way interactions so we have three interactions so first interaction 0.048 less greater than 0.05 insignificant second interaction insignificant how at the interaction of stir rate and temperature is found to be is found to be significant with a p value of 0.014 our highest level interaction ammonium stir rate and temperature is also insignificant so we have few terms in our model that are insignificant the highest level order interaction term three way interaction is term is insignificant so we can drop it now when we have the highest interaction term insignificant we have to perform the factorial analysis again select stat doe factorial analyze factorial design here click on step wise then click on forward selection we have few option but select the forward selection or backward elimination i suggest forward selection because the forward selection only include those term in the model that are significant so click okay and then click okay you can see your anova table will be shortened and it includes main terms and then instead of three interaction term in the previous model now two interaction two there are two uh, terms that are two having two interaction and there is no three way interaction term is present further a new thing lack of fit has been included in our result with a value of 0.05 that is the borderline so we say that our model is fitting the data after going through the anova table the second most important thing is the regression equation so this is the regression equation here we can see that the ammonium coefficient is 0.1438 it is it can be interpreted as with the increase in 1% in the ammonium there will be a increase of 0.1438 units in the density and further the ammonium coefficient is positive so so it means that increase in ammonium has a positive effect on the density likewise the coefficients of stir rate and temperature are negative so they have a decreasing effect and the interaction term of ammonium and temperature has a negative effect whereas stir rate and temperature has a positive effect this was the regression equation you can also perform the regression analysis by click on stat regression regression fit regression model select your response variable that is density select the variables ammonium stir rate and temperature click okay and you will get the regression analysis equation so these were the results of the regression analysis it says that the three variable namely ammonium stir rate and temperature they are explaining 67.19% variation in the density further we can see that over an over table the stir rate and temperature is found to be significant while ammonium is insignificant the result are same as the analysis of factorial design for now the last thing is you have to draw the main effect plot so go to stat anova main effect plot select your response variable that is density St select all of the three factors there ammonium stir rate and temperature click okay and you will get the main effects now how we will interpret it with the increase in ammonium the density increases whereas with the increase in stir rate also density increases with the increase in temperature from 8 to 40 degree centigrade our density is decreasing so that was the interpretation of main effect plot now move towards interaction effect so again go to stat anova interaction effect plot select the response variable density here please select i suggest you people to select only two factors at a time just like ammonium and stir rate click okay and you will get a plot 
okay this plot is for the stearate and ammonium blue the, this blue uh, dot showing the ammonium at low level whereas this red scale showing the ammonium at high level the two lines are parallel to each other so there is no interaction found among them now again go to stat for the second interaction plot for this case delete the steroid and add second one that is temperature so we will get a graph for the ammonium and the temperature so the two lines are intersecting each other it means that there is some interaction exists between these two factor now for the last plot again go to ANOVA interaction plot select delete both of them and select steroid and temperature click OK and you can see the both lines are somehow not parallel to each other and they will intersect each other by extending the graph so this interaction is also found to be significant thanks for watching the video